welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be covering how to export a mod and install it uh, using Forge. Uh, there is a few things that you should probably know first, and that is that you can't actually gain any profit from the mods that you do export um, or create. Uh, it's in the Pylos policy. Uh, however, you can upload it to um, Pylo's website or possibly your own. Uh, you might want to look into your, uh, their, more into their terms and see what you can and cannot do. Um, but uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started and we'll cover how to basically export to install a mod that you've created. So when you're actually creating your workspace, that you might have to rework your workspace a little bit. Uh, possibly, depending on how big your mod is, you might have to just redo it. Um, now what you need to do uh, when you create a new workspace, um, this is by just clicking on a new workspace or clearing it or importing. You have um, these options here and um, your mod display name or yeah, mod display name basically will act as your uh, mod ID, which is very important. Uh, this will probably play a little bit into the future tutorials and stuff. So when you're actually typing it, make sure it's something that you want because you can't change it after this point. So it's uh, very important to make sure that you create something that you're going to want to use in the future. Uh, also give it a mod description. Uh, you can change the boxes later. So once you have implemented all that, your mod and stuff, uh, what you can do is go to your settings, which is under your workspace tab, and you can change a few things here. Uh, the first thing that you have is um, some basic settings of the author name, mod description, the version, and um, tutorial is obviously the mod name, display name right now. So I'm going to give it a new description. And um, the author is below, which is my name. Uh, we're also going to update the display name. So I'm going to call it North's Music Mod. And. So we now need a image for the thumbnail. So we're gonna go grab one of those. Uh, we need to go into game for that. And I'm just gonna create a small uh, setup with what we have already implemented into the mod. I'm gonna create a new world just to make sure there isn't any mod overlaps. And we're just gonna call it mo um, test. And we're gonna set it to creative so we can actually access all the items. And generate the world. So once you have your setup um, all set up, what you can do is press F2 uh, to take a screenshot just like you would in regular Minecraft and it will save it but you want to make sure that it's kind of centered to your your screen. So I'm just going to get a little bit closer and try centering it a little more and press F2 whenever I'm ready and then from that it'll take a screenshot we can go to options and then resource packs and then if we open resource pack folder it will bring us directly to the save or resource directory and if we go uh, let's see nope not there so if you go to the main folder uh, and run there's screenshots and then you can copy this or uh, move it to your desktop whatever you prefer for editing so we're now in paint.net and we're just going to resize the image to something that's square. You can go to canvas size um, image and then canvas size and then you can resize it to whatever you want. The actual size of the um, height of the mod thumbnail is 260. So you want to resize the height to something around that line. Um, you can also create a new layer and um, add some text if you wish and uh, just, you know, decorate it a little bit more with um, some uh, text letting people know what version and what um, Minecraft version and stuff like that. So 
I'm just adding some text with the text tool right now and I'm just going to call it Minecraft 1.12.2 and I'm going to stick that under the mod and that's a pretty good setup right there it's uh, you can still read the font and everything now you can merge down the layer here and uh, the the square with the green plus is to add a new layer as well so and now it's part of the same image so we can now save this as a PNG and we're going to save it to my desktop so I can import it to um, mCreator. So save it and we're good. So now that we have um, our thumbnail, what we want to do is to go to resources and then import and then other. And then what we want to do is find our desktop or wherever you've saved it and select thumbnail and then it's under thumbnail. So if we go back to mod and then update the gear there, you can select thumbnail for your picture and save. Alright, so now that you got all that done, uh, you might want to, if you have your own website, then you might want to add that and fill up any other information that you might want to do. So website, you got the thumbnail, you might want to add a little bit more to the description if needed. Um, you know, just finalize the settings and then click save whenever you're ready. And now what you want to do is uh, click this little button right here, which is export your mod to .jar. So click on that and it will compile your mod to a .jar. And once it's ready, then uh, it'll prompt you with uh, terms of service. Uh, or terms of use and uh, it's good to just go over a little bit of it, it probably won't make much sense but because um, it's all legal speak but um, in the long sense like I said you can't actually gain profit from your mod which is unfortunate it sounds like they might be adding a licensed version in the future uh, that could be a possibility where you might have to pay in order to have a license to in order to sell it but um, outside of that, we'll see where AmpCreator takes it in the future. Uh, for now, just click uh, Agree or see full terms of use and um, Agree will compile it to a jar. So click Agree and then you want to go and type in the name of the jar that you want. You can change this later and I'm just going to call it Test Mod and hit Save. And there it is on my desktop now. And we can finally uh, get Forge and install it. I will uh, leave the link down to Forge, uh, their official download site, in the description. So if you want to go and grab Forge for yourself, then you can do that. Uh, right now, MCreator is on 1.12.2, so you want to grab the um, recommended build for Forge and grab the installer for Windows. And from that, it will probably bring you to some ad site, but I have like ad blocker on, so it's not showing. So it just downloaded there, so that's good. And uh, we will install that in just a second. So you will need um, Minecraft 1.12.2 installed prior to actually installing Forge. Uh, if I remember correctly. So I already have that installed. Uh, what I am going to do is make sure that I have 1.12.2 uh, installed and I do. So I have two profiles uh, for 1.12.2. And what you want to go to your downloads and click on the forge and run as administrator. And then click yes. And then you want to do a client install. If you're doing a server, then you can do a uh, server install server, and you can just extract it as well if you need to. But uh, click on client for personal use, and then it will extract uh, Forge into its own jar and set up a profile, um, which we will be able to change in just a second. So it's all been set up, it's been successful, and uh, we can now restart Minecraft just to make sure that it shows up. 
and we will go down here and it should say somewhere around here yep there it is forge and then 1.12.2 so we're actually going to go to launch options and this is an optional step but we're going to make sure that it's in its own folder so it doesn't uh, have any conflict with any other mods or versions of forge so by doing the setting the game directory we can go forge and then we can go um, slash and uh, 1.12.2 and then so you want to go to your dot minecraft folder which is in your roaming folder um you can type percent app data percent to get there in search so we need to create the actual folder structure that we just created and then it will be able to install the profile so now you can see that's downloading and setting up all the uh, files we need so you can get to your roaming folder on dot minecraft folder by typing percent app data percent and then clicking on that, uh, which is this folder incidentally. And then what you want to do is go to Forge, the folder directory you just made, and then under Mods, drop your jar into this folder. And then uh, run the game, and then it should install and run properly. But uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine now. So the first thumbnail that I'm showing is for the mod that we just created. I exported two different uh, versions of the mod with different thumbnails, uh, just to give you an idea of what the thumbnail would look like in the actual program. So this is the square one, uh, 260 by 260. Uh, it does resize the image to 260 in height. So if we click on the mod thumbnail, or the mod, that you can see the thumbnails up here. You might want to go with a larger thumbnail like this, and this is uh, 1272 by two in height and um, yeah it, it, the larger thumbnail looks pretty good so as you can see we have our custom blocks in here and our custom items and we can actually play music uh, you can't hear it because I have music disabled when I'm recording because um, I have some audio problems with the recorder but uh, yeah overall it works fine it has no bugs it's just like the test environment so it's good to go I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Also like the video if you enjoyed it or it helps you. And I'll see you guys next time.